Merry Christmas, everyone! Uh, joyous Yule, joyous Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah, a f Happy Festivus for the rest of us, New Year's coming up! What? <laughs> oh, we're doing the intro, I understand now. Oh, I understand! Oh, I understand now. New game, number uh, my name is... Pick number two. New, no, okay, name. number two, fine. Name is what? How do I get back to N uh, two? Oh well. Um, N M. Oh look, we exist in that fictional world where there are no numbers. <laughs> what number looks the most like a four? I think a capital A. <laughs> We're now N M A C P. True. <laughs> that is a four. You were just looking at it wrong. What? You never seen a four before, Proc? Message speed? I am message. I go fast. Message is the name. Speed's my game. Oh my gosh. The graphics. Accept our quest, hero. I think you misspelled question. They forgot three letters, and they don't know what numbers are. Numbers don't exist in this world. You just spell out all your numbers. <laughs> F-O-U-R. Okay, but what if I want to put a thousand? O-N-E space T-H-O-U. <laughs> I really think it'd be easier just to do a one and three zero. No. Way. Or you don't do it at all. We are Nintendo. We control you. Oh, I'm not. I'm skipping through the dialogue because this is spring and thus doesn't make sense to the stream. Uh, that's right. We gotta get. We gotta get all the way to winter. Or summer or something. We gotta get uh, to winter. As an abbreviation, we're just gonna call your character Mac. <laughs> Mac. <laughs> Mac. Well, the the N and the P are, are silent. Yeah, the N and the P are silent. Oh, wow! Cutscenes! Oh, my gosh! This animation! Caitlin wishes she could animate like this. She's like, darn it, why can't I do that? Look at Link Dance. <laughs> no, this is not where Din's fire came from. That's wrong. No, wrong, Maybell. Wrong. No, no, stop being wrong. Din's fire is an item in Ocarina of Time. This is an oracle that's named after the goddess did. Stop being completely wrong. That was so wrong. So terribly wrong. Uh-oh! It's... It's... Sauron from Lord of the Rings. Seriously, guys. Look up... Uh, I don't know if he appears here. But look up Onox from Oracle of Seasons. O-N-O-X. Um, he looks like Sauron, or like Lord Zed from Power Rangers. <laughs> Link's like, attack the tornado! Back. help me. <laughs> Idiot did it again. Oh, my God. You are so dumb. You are, look, look, it's freaking, it's freaking Sauron or Lord Zed. One ring to rule them all, one ring to find them, one ring to bring them all, and in the darkness. Yeah! Wow, that's so enthusiastic. Listen, this guy needs this guy needs a Miles makeover. Like, why didn't they ca contact Miles and been like, listen, we need a villain. I forget, Proctor. I used to know the plot to Zelda very well. No, shut up. We're not going to kill you to just get rid of your power entirely. We are going to keep you in a jewel where the main character this... would still be Yes! Hey, Proctor! Slaybell's ring, are you listening? 
Well, I mean, that might just be, you know, Game Boy synth. But in the lane, snow is, is, uh, is, it's got about three different shades. A beautiful sight. We're happy tonight. Walking in a w winter wonderland. Almost said women's underwear, sorry. In the meadow, we can build a snowman. And seeing as this is an RPG, he'll probably talk. It's Christmas. We can't do at night. To do at Eve. At Eve is at the holiday version of our forced meme. So welcome to uh, the Oracle of Seasons Let's Play at Eve. Um, I don't really like this town right now because it's in the fall. And we're doing a Christmas stream at Eve. I think, um, no, I think you're supposed to read that as Chancellor of Chaos. Um, I can't do it right now, because my mom says I have to keep it to a dull roar, so, uh... Hey, Proc... Smock... Proc me like a hurricane. Remember that aforementioned rings that rule them, bring them, and find them and stuff? This I, is shop. Yeah. Yeah, this guy is, is, is freaking, is freaking, uh, is freaking Sauron. Like, seriously? Understood? No, I skipped through what you said, but I'm just gonna say yes. Yes, I got a level one ring box. Oh, where the heck did I get that? Oh, I got it. I'm fro. Oh, Frodo. Link's one of those people that just like when people are talking, they're bad. Do you want me to repeat that? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. And then sometimes they change it up and put the, uh... No, they don't put the first option as no, but you're pressing B to skip through it, which automatically clicks no. Yeah. But then, you know, sometimes they change it up and say, do you want me to repeat that? And it's like, okay, not gonna click no this time. Yes, I want you to repeat that. Wait! You guys know no rage like that. Like, you listen to what you, you read the first ten pages of the book, and you're like, how much longer can this person talk? So you're like, whatever, A, 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 Do you understand? No. Crap! Damn it! I everything all over again. Do you understand? No. Oh, so Proctor, uh, in case you don't remember, uh, the first time that I actually... Uh, yeah, I haven't played this game in a while. Um, the first time that I actually acknowledged you existed, uh, was... I believe in a location not all that different from the one I am in in the game right now. No, wait, maybe it's different. I'm in the wrong house, actually. <laughs> Shut up. No, 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 you named, named the kid after me. I know, I'm in the wrong house. Uh oh, yeah. I don't know my way around this this uh, ad. Oh, gosh, darn it, you stream. Just go to Google and say, buy us, please. Buy us, buy us. Yeah, they do. They do? I want to see an answer. Uh, Maybell has an ad, but... Oh. Uh, what? Her ad's, her ad's probably done now, I was say. I'll say it one more time. Okay. Alright. You guys want to hear the story of, uh... Now... <laughs> now it's not good, that's Pro? Pro? 
Yes, his name is Pro. Forget the rest of the your name. It's just Pro now. No, they're ignoring you. They're like, okay, yeah, you told me to come to the stream, so I'm just occupying the chat to be polite. Occupy chat! Occupy chat. We are the 1%. Oh, so I came up with one that says, uh, uh, occupy wall, and has a bunch of horses and eggs sitting on a wall, and it says the king's men hold all the pieces. You know, Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the, all the king's horses, all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Okay, maybe I'll tell you guys the story. Um, I just joined you stream. I've been playing for like two days. Or, not been playing. I've been uh, watching people play video games. Because the whole reason I joined is because I wanted to watch people play games. But like, I see all these gamer streams on my, like, or like gamers playing games on uh, YouTube. And like, I want to see it like a lot. People say they have gaming streams, so I want to see it a lot. So I joined and I followed a few people who were playing like the game. I think they were playing like World at War or uh, Modern Warfare 2 at the time, popular. Um, so I was like, okay, cool. And so um, once they got off, I was like, wow, there's no streams that I would fault that like look good that are. Right after, uh, right after school, Eastern Standard Time. I don't know what time that would be for you. Yeah, that are, yeah, that look good and are freaking not hacked with 800 people. So I was like, oh, here's one. Here's this guy's playing, a uh, Nintendo game. At the time, uh, Charlie, Charlie did, uh, I think he was playing Pokemon Crystal. I was playing Pokemon Crystal, that is absolutely correct. Pokemon Crystal. And so, it would be... He had his like set up so it was it was a uh, his it was a, the game and in the corner was his camera and I was like my first impression was like oh my god this dude is freaking annoying <laughs> that's Proctor's first impression of me I was like this guy is annoying as crap jeez and so I left the stream and I'm like I came back like a few hours later and I'm like wow there's still nothing to watch and I'm like oh look Colin playing Pokemon Crystal. <laughs> As uh, as Lewis Black would say about his uh, his candy cane um, joke, and then like an old Thomas patient, the next year I try it again. Candy corn, I say, corn that tastes like candy. Oh god. And Froctor, am I still annoying? Yes, but not in the same way. Exactly. <laughs> I don't remember. I just remember naming uh, the kid in uh, in Oracle of Ages after you, because you just happened to be playing uh, Oracle of Seasons at the time. Um, yeah, and, uh, and I said, I've never met you, Pro uh, I, you can choose what kind of mood the kid has if you enter a cheat to, uh, get a code from Oracle of Seasons, because the games can be linked, and, um, I, like, I never met you, but I assume, seeing as you're watching my stream, that you have ADHD, so I made him hyper. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then he, we went on, uh, I would constantly advertise Paul's streams and Chewie's streams because we met, uh, we're playing, you know, the same region of Pokemon at the same time. So it's like, okay, I'm going to stop streaming, but Paul is going to stream or Chewie is going to stream. And uh, 
Proctor started watching their streams, and he found it at M4CP, and obviously we were the three people he thought of to, uh, to ask to join. Okay. Matthew Tree Gate. Show courage. I have that. It's on my left hand. I have courage! Okay, there we go. Wait, the courage is not in the sword. The courage is in the Triforce, jerkwad. I don't... The sword is nothing. I just found it in a chest in the middle of a cave that takes five seconds to pass. <laughs> okay, okay. This... This, this Maku tree is freaking creepy. I like the female one better. This guy just scares the heck out of me. What's to be done, Mac? The male one is... No, no. Uh, Rachel, the male one is Deku in Ocarina of Time. And then there's the Deku scrub at the end of Ocarina of Time. Or after you beat the Forest Temple, which becomes the Deku tree in Wind Waker. Then there's... the They're both called the Maku tree in the Oracle series. Shall I repeat it? No, don't! Yeah, this time he said, shall I repeat it, not did you understand that. Oh boy! How I came up with NF4CP. Um, yeah, you should tell that story while I, um, while I expel solid waste into a porcelain bowl and then flush it through the sewage system. No, 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 you must sing it to the tune of the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Okay. Now, this is a story. Oh, no, I'm not doing that. Um, I, me and Charlie were already friends at the time. We'd already collaborated on, I think, a single episode of Gold Rush. Um, and so, um, I decided, I was like, okay, let's, uh, I was watching the stream one day because Charlie was offline on Skype and I was like, okay. Oh look, a gaming marathon. That wasn't half the people. It was called the uh, Metroid Marathon. Metroid Marathon for child play. Uh, but it was just called Metroid Marathon. I was like, okay, let's watch it. It was just, it was a three day long marathon of one person streaming. It was one person streaming. Uh, three days. And I was like, and he played the same game. Like, he, he sucked so bad. It was the same game. It was like the Wii, the, the new Wii version of Metroid, where you have, like, this, uh, where you can control Samus's cannon. Um, and I was like, this is terrible. Because he was so bad. I was like, this is terrible. I think he had, like, $20 donated. I was like, how, how is this, how are people watching this? So, I, um, I, wait, whatever. So I left, like, after uh, 10 minutes of that torture of watching it, like, fail to jump properly. Um, so, Charlie got on about an hour later, I was like, Charlie, I have an idea. We should do a video game marathon. And he's like, well, what should we stream? I was like, Every Nintendo game. <laughs> and so we're like, well, there's a bunch of Nintendo games. We're like, okay, uh, we'll do, uh, what do we do? Uh, the first year was a, first year was a, uh, first year was a, a terrible mess. We didn't even stream at night, at night. Oh, yeah. It was, um, first year we did, I think, Earthbound and Mother on Monday. There are three Earthbound games. He had work the whole week, but he made up for it by being the host with the most the next year. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Um, by the way, yeah, if you guys haven't checked out, if you guys are on the website right now, and of course, .org, that We can't actually change the topic because, um, I, oh, we can change the topic because we're mods. Thank God, you can change the topic. But we can't actually log into an M4CP account on this, uh, this chat because, uh... What should we change the topic to? I'll change it. Yeah, just go to, uh, nm4cp.org for the full experience. 
Oh, Proctor, um, is it alright if you're in my next two Christmas specials as well? Uh, sure. Alright, you're gonna do, uh, backup vocals in, uh, in Miles' album next year. The male back backup vocals. My sister Rachel is doing the, uh, I have a sister named Rachel and a best friend slash ex-girlfriend named Rachel. Um, but yeah, my sister Rachel is doing the female female backup vocals, and you'll do the male ones. And then the year after that is Crazy Uncle Chuck's Those Christmas Carols. And you know how in the original Christmas Carol, they uh, go up asking for money to ch for charity? Uh, and then he says, better they die and decrease the surplus population. Yeah, that'll be you, me, Miles, and Rach. Uh... Asking for donations to Child's Play. <laughs> and seeing as in uh, Freedom Fighters... should be a scene to Crazy Uncle Chuck's LPS. What? What'd you say? I think there should be a series. Crazy Uncle Chuck's Tall Tales or Crazy Uncle Chuck's... <laughs> like oh my god. Yeah, totally. I, I Wait, when did me and... Oh, when did me and Rachel... Wait, quiet for a sec, Proc. When did me and Rachel date? Um, from about a year before Gold Rush came out until, uh, like, July. So, like, uh, like, November to, late November to early July, I think. Uh, which was 2008 to early, to, to mid-2009. It sucked. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Uh, oh, I need to finish my story. Okay, uh... If you guys go to NM4CP, that lovely banner that does stuff and you hover your mouse over it, designed by Maybell. Um, and if you guys check out the awards page up at the top there, um, you'll see some sprites because Miles kind of slacked off on the last... I wonder where Proctor went. Probably this laptop that I was talking to him on ran out of batteries. Give me a sec. Fixing it, Proc. Um, the I was talking to you on a separate laptop and it ran out of batteries. Actually, while I was looking for the plug for it. I didn't even know it was running out of batteries. It was just a coincidence. If Proctor's not in the chat, please uh, I am that to him. Oh gosh, you heard me typing my password. You can tell the difference. Oh, it was incorrect anyway. I am so great at things. Here's my impression of a Nintendo character. <gasps> a tornado just kidnapped that woman! Attack the tornado without any weaponry! Yes, you guessed it. That's Mario. Actually, I think all, all Nintendo characters do that. <laughs> What's up, Croc? I just managed to start out on a portion piece. So we had three people, me, Charlie, and Chewie. And basically, 
Charlie would stream in the morning. I would stream midday. Well, no, I would. We, I mean, we didn't really have schedules at all the first year. Yeah, but we kind of just operated like that. Yes. So it wasn't completely scheduled, schedule based. I just, I had just gotten off of uh, sleeping meds for the first time, so I just happened to not be sleeping very long and wake up at like one a.m. Yeah. And so, um, to have that like at night when we're like nobody's gonna stream at this time. We called it after hours, because at night. Because at night wasn't done yet. We called it uh, before CP after hours. At at night uh, was first used in Cobra Cousins, and then uh, became a running joke in the Mario and Luigi Let's Play. Um. Anyway, though, uh, we would play music, play like Pokemon music or some type of music, Nintendo based music when uh nobody was streaming. And sometimes I would come, I would come on in the morning and I'd see that the music had either ended, like all of it had ended, and we just were make silent crap for an hour or two, and it was before that, um, that, uh, god. Well, that god, um. Yeah, so, that, um, um. Like, we just stopped. We I just. Like, just, okay, the last streamer, the last person streaming is going to bed. Let's put up a cycle of funny Nintendo photos and music. And that was called After Hours. And it was lame. It was terrible. But then, you know, I realized uh, Rach Rachel and Zach, who helped a lot with Gold Rush, which is basically the reason I started Ustream, uh, they're basically the co-owners um, of Gold Rush, they didn't ever have a sleep schedule, ever. Like, I've never... <laughs> so I'm like, I, I actually did tell them, uh, appropriate for the Christmas stuff, I did tell them uh, to the to the tune of Rudolph, like, Zach and Rachel with your sleep schedule. I don't remember exactly what I said. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I basically asked them to do the graveyard shift because their sleep schedule usually sucks in the summer. And then I did the morning shift just because... I was everyone's boss, and if I but if I ask them, hey, could you wake up at five a.m. and stream? No, you insane! What kind of wacky tobacco you on? And where can I get some? And Paul, Paul won. We uh, came out. Uh, did you coin the thing, or who coined that phrase? Host with the most. For an award, yeah, for the award. Um. I think I was talking to Zach, and I think I was talking to Zach and quoting Beetlejuice like I always do because um, Beetlejuice is a freaking amazing movie. Uh, and isn't it Proctor though? First of all, just real quick. Yeah, I'm just quoting Beetlejuice like I normally do, and I was like, "I'm the ghost with the most, babe." And then you know I broke into the animated series stuff, which is a lot lighter hearted. And I was like, "I'm the Neither World's main attraction, the Neither World's biggest star. My gags will put your traction. I'm gross, revolting, bizarre. I'm the top dog in the pound, the biggest cheese around. I'm a semi-inflatable, biodegradable, <laughs> jack of all tradable ghost with the most." And then we were talking about how I. Uh, my term for NM4CP is the host. Uh, one, I'm, you know, the most uh, comedian-like of these people, um, seeing as that's how I want to make money and kind of am already. Uh, so, two, first year I was literally hosting it for my Ustream account. So we called myself the host, and I was talking about that right after quoting Beetlejuice, and Zach just started saying the host with the most. Which is an actual, the actual original term that Beetlejuice got it from. Okay, I don't remember how to play this game. <laughs> I've been playing ages so long, I'm like, this ROM hack is weird, guys. <laughs> oh! Who? I don't like her. But uh, she has a funny accent. It makes me angry when I talk to her. A gnarled root goes straight from here. I am sure I saw one there. Go with caution. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I know Seasons is fun. I just like Ages better because, honestly, changing the season, yeah, time travel is much more interesting than it always has been. Also, I like uh, Ages because I feel it's um, like the, the Zelda version of Pokemon. Like, it's the only Zelda game in which you have a rival. Um, I played it right after Pokemon Crystal, not only because of that, but also because um, there are you can visit uh, whatever that land is called, uh, Labra, I think, in two different time periods. Just like in Pokemon Crystal, you could visit Kanto. Uh... Wait, on the map, the, uh, the first dungeon is exactly the same uh, directions from the starting point, or from the main town, as in Zelda 1. As in Zelda 1, yeah, I just realized that. Oh, wait, look at this. Holy crud, it's the same dungeon. Do you, look at the... Well, do you know who the boss is in this dungeon? It's the same boss. Uh, this is the dungeon from Zelda 1. Zelda 1's first boss uh, is the dragon. Is this a dragon? This is the dragon. Oh my god, it's the same exact dungeon. In a different country. Okay. How, how unoriginal. <laughs> I mean... How unoriginal, Nintendo. Nintendo... Hardly ever acknowledge it. Uh, uh, <laughs> Dr. Luck! I don't know if this part loaded for you. Look who I, who I just met. Uh, the old man. The old man from Zelda 1! <laughs> what the heck, Nintendo? This is the same dungeon. Like, like in every, in every Mario game, there's a reenactment of the first level of Mario. Return like Oh my god, that's so wrong. Oh wait, I just remembered. Oh my gosh, all the uh all the all the bosses in this game are from Zelda 1. You just made the same game! Are they? This is like a really, really good remake of Zelda 1. Like, the best remake, if this is a remake of Zelda 1, if we want to consider it this, then it's clearly the best game remake in the world. But still, it's not a remake, and that is why... I can't believe I didn't realize it was a remake of Zelda 1. Yeah, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Wait, wait, go go find the list of bosses from Zelda 1 and the list of bosses from, uh, from uh, Oracle of fine. Seasons. Kit Kat, you there? No, not talking to you. There's actually like literally um, five Kit Kats right in the dish in front of me. <laughs> I talked to Candy. No, yeah, I was talking to you, but there are Kit Kats there. No, never mind. Sorry. Um, I'm in my, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, mood. Um, I mean, if you don't consider it a disorder and just a description of mood, I'm in one of those manic depressive moods uh, for some reason. Probably because of um, Christmas Day mental breakdown. So don't expect me to make sense at any point. Okay, this game has all the, every single boss from Zelda 1 except for uh, Onox. And Twinrova. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah. Order in different order. Instead of... It, okay, first boss in this game is Aquamentis. First boss in Zelda 1 is Aquamentis. Wait, no, 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 but... Onox is a is a filler boss, because once you link the games, you battle Ganon at the end. Who is the main boss from, uh... And, and, and Twinrova are the mini-bosses from Finding Ganon. Who is the main boss in, uh... In, in Zelda 1 again? Ganon. Oh my gosh. Ganon is the boss in every game. Okay, the second boss in this game is, uh, 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 Dudongo. Second boss in Zelda 1, Dudongo. Dodongo. Uh, Dodongo. 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 Okay. Uh, second boss in the, er, th sorry, third boss in this game is Mothula. Mothula is the, uh, Oh, 
Zelda games are so formulaic, I think I could play them in my sleep. I think I am playing them in my sleep right now. Uh, Dig, Dig Dogger is the, um, the fifth boss. Dig Dogger is the seventh boss in Zelda 1. Then you have, uh, Manhandlewell. No, no joke, it's spelled Manhandlewell. Like, you're, you're a person who manhandles people. Manhandlewell. <laughs> So, and manhandle, uh, manhandle is the third boss in Zelda One, and the la the seventh boss in this game is Gle uh, Gleok, and Gleok's the uh, fifth boss in Zelda One. Okay, so we can either consider this um, Zelda being lazy, Zelda uh, Nintendo being. We can either consider this Nintendo being lazy. Nintendo actually for once acknowledging that they made games in the past, which they didn't do until, like, the, uh, the GameCube came out. Or, we consider, can consider this the best remake of all time. This is terrible. What? I said this is so bad. Wait, Oracle of Seas and Dungeon 1, I'm gonna look the map. I don't, no, I was, uh, I'm gonna die. I don't care that I'm gonna die, but I'm gonna die. Because I'm... Not that far into the dungeon, anyway. <laughs> so, we can either consider this, uh, laziness, um, uh, referencing the older games, or the best remake of all oh, time. God. I'm going to consider it the second one. I don't know about you, Brock. The map is set up exactly the same. It is? It is. The, exactly except the same. The map in the uh, first Zelda game is uh, is all desert. The, the first level? They're not the map, sorry. The, the map of the level. Oh, yeah. The, this dungeon? Yeah. Oh, I knew that. I noticed that already. So, okay. Um, good night, Mabel. It's Nintendo being lazy. No, I believe it's them referencing old games. I, uh, anyone else can choose to believe what they believe. Um, I believe it's referencing old games, and it's not the best remake of all time. The best game remake of all time. Uh, I think they're just lazy. Or, or maybe they're trying, to, they're trying to hit a new audience. Yeah, probably. They did actually, like, fairly soon after this, re-release Zelda 1 on the uh, Game Boy Advance. They're probably doing that to the Um, but, oh yeah, that's right. Nintendo didn't make this game. Capcom did. Oh, did they? Yeah. Capcom being a jerk. What? Capcom copying Nintendo. They're like, hey, Capcom, can you make... Two Zelda games, uh, you know, original ones. Oh yeah, sure. Um, I said original ones. This is Zelda One. No, Zelda One. You couldn't change the seasons. Zelda One. You couldn't go to hell. Yes, they go. No, how come like this? They're like, oh, all right, we're done with. We're, we're done, done with Oracle of Ages. Done with Oracle of Ages. How much time we have? Oh man, two days. <laughs> all right, redo it. Redo <laughs> Zelda One. Okay, realistically, let's say two months. Yeah. Um. They were actually trying to make three Oracle of Ages, Oracle of Seasons, and Oracle of Secrets. Wait, look at the dialogue there. Nope. Nope. Uh. Uh, nope, uh, Caitlin. Just crazy Uncle Chuck Testa with several people. <laughs> with the most realistic groups of people of all time. <laughs> Rachel just typed as, uh, Raikou from, uh, Gold's Rush specials in the chat after <laughs> the boss roared at me. Oh. Um, hmm. who can we invite to the stream? Oh, Sarah Bates said she would come, but she didn't. Damn it, Sarah Bates, stop pretending to come. Wait, that came out wrong. No, dude, that's not perfect. <laughs> Fight all the people. Did you invite Caitlin already? 
Caitlyn is here. Oh, is she? That's Saku Senpai. I see her. I don't think that Saku's already here. What? I don't think that Saku's already here. I don't pay attention to the chat. What do you think I am? Some kind of live broadcaster? I'm a Let's Player. Paul's here. He is? No, Paul's is like on Skype sort of. I'm sorry. Um, oh, Eva said she'd come. Come. Eva said uh, if I went out and bought the the Homestuck auth uh, author's edition on the day it came out and got it, uh, mailed it to Bron her boyfriend, that she'd come to the stream. Oracle of Seasons Let's Play for Christmas. And then I'm going to comment Oracle of Seasons Greetings. There we go. Grar, you cannot pass. Oh wait, the mini boss is just moblins? Just moblins? Oh wait, these are moblins with, from, with boomerangs. This is directly from Zelda 1, except they weren't mini-bosses in the original. Wait, I killed them already? Gosh darn it, first levels of Zelda game, why are you so easy? Or did I? No, Rachel, you know that was an insult directed at you, right? That wasn't um, commenting on Zelda. That was actually meant to insult you. This is the exact same map dungeon. <laughs> yeah, you didn't know that one. Except in the first dungeon, you get the boomerang, don't you? Well, you do, yeah. But still, I mean... The map is the same, just everything else is different. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I think it was just to gain a new audience to Zelda 1, so that by the time they re-released it for the Game Boy Advance, it's like, oh, I remember this stuff from Oracle of Seasons. I'd like to consider this the greatest uh, remake of all time. Um, wow, I'm late, says Ustreamer2980077. Zero, zero, no, you're not late. This is the first dungeon. Um, yeah, type slash login to slash and log in. It doesn't really matter. Nothing really matters. Anyone can see, Proctor. Except the blind. <laughs> I mean... Oh, I'm signed in, but I'm not showing my name. Okay, that's it's that's Josh. Yeah, dying takes me to the beginning of the dungeon. So, why the heck not? This is a triumph! I'm making a note here. Huge success. Oh, it's it's Ravage. Okay, hi Ravage. Um. That's definitely Ravage. Nope, it's not Ravage. Okay, it's Miles. It's Miles then. But it makes me angry that it's Miles because I know Miles is just late because he didn't understand that that. Wrong again? Okay, it's not Miles and it's not Ravage, but you said I Chuck Testa. Oh, it's Paul Hotailing. Not? It's Chewy, it's Chewy, it's Chewy. Is it Chewy? 
Oh, okay. I don't have the boss key yet. Is it Caitlyn? It's Caitlyn! It's Caitlyn logged into two accounts. It's Caitlyn. No, not Boxy Senpai, Caitlyn. Other Caitlyn. Oh, no, it's Caitlyn. <laughs> both, they're both Caitlyn. I've seen her do this before. <sighs> okay, it can't be Zack. You are not Zack. I know for a fact that you are not Zack. It's Jared? Are you Jared? Oh, is it Jared? Jared has been coming to my streams, actually. Whenever I do stream, which is like never. It's Jared. It's Jared. It's Jared. It's Jared. It's Jared. Even if you say we're not, you're not Jared, we're not going to believe you and we're going to continue to call you Jared. No. Okay. It's Jared. So what's up, Jared? How's it going? Yeah, it's, it's Jared. And even if it's not Jared, you're officially Jared from now on. So, deal with it. From is this it point forth, you are Jared. Is it Adam? No, it's it's Jared, Proctor. I don't even if he tells us who he is, it's 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 still uh okay, it is Adam Van Lee shout, but it we're calling him opposite just just to annoy him. Yeah, it is. It is? Yeah. Yes. Like a boss. <laughs> uh, well, I don't like the boss that much. Yeah, it is. It's Adam Van Lee shout, the, the Dutch bastard. But, uh... It's oh, Olin? Man. No, it's Jared. Okay, fine. That's yeah, I don't care if you are Olin. You're Jared as far as we're concerned. Speaking of liking a boss, this boss is alright. Let's see if I can do this without dying. Oh my gosh, there's animation unlike in the first Zelda. Kill, 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 kill. Died. <laughs> that was fun. Can we see that on instant replay? Charles editing this in post-production? Thanks, man. Oh, right. Oh, right, you're playing. What? There it is. <laughs> so, what's up, Jared? How'd you get Olin Hump's password, Jared? That's a pretty neat trick. Oh my god, to the right. To the right? What about three the right? I'm sorry, I'm in I'm in Zelda autopilot mode. I haven't even been paying attention to the dungeon this whole time. I don't need to. It's Zelda. I Yeah, you're still Jared, Olin Hump. You're um you're, you're Jared after he hacked Olin Hump's account. And if Jared actually does come in, as he often does, um, he's Olin Hump. Alright. Dislike a boss! What the fudge? You're not acting like you're doing, Zelda. I mean, Zelda 1. Just gonna kill you anyway, though. Because you're not that difficult. Alright, cool. 
Dislike a boss. I dislike that boss. Dislike a boss. Well, the only reason uh, it was hard in Zelda One is because the controls weren't as as uh, as you know um, functional. Dislike a boss like a boss. <laughs> Dislike a boss like an employee. All right, so I got no no Christmas Christmas. I got all money. Uh, I mean, then you know what you should do, Proctor? You know what you should do? You know what you should do? You should buy me uh, an HD webcam and a uh, microphone for NM4CP. Yeah. That's part of your but, budget, too. Why can't I buy me one? Because, I'm because NM4CP will be from my house forever, starting 2013. Oh, so I'm thinking about uh, if FHD gets ungrounded by then, uh, possibly stopping um, by him on the uh, on the way to Florida and doing a Let's Play or something for Ustream. Uh, why am I all the way over? Um, Rule that? 63 of Maku is canon. These games were released on the same day. Which direction is the Rule 63 going in, Rachel? <laughs> Um, whatever it is, uh, you can, whatever, I don't know the exact, the exact description, but whatever it is, you can find it in the opposite gender. Ah. On the internet. What if Zelda was a girl, guy? What? Have you ever heard that, that, that trolling thing? What? Where people go, hey guys, what if Zelda was a girl? Does everybody think the main character's name is Zelda? What's hilarious is, in I think at least one or two games, Zelda doesn't actually do anything. So then it's like, why is this Legend of Zelda? Oh, so it's now a meme, kind of a forced one, but it's still a meme. That uh, if you like in every Zelda game, someone's gone through, find, found some uh, sometime where as where every single person's been kidnapped, took a screenshot of it, then right click screenshot and, and highlight it over send link and then screenshot it back and say uh you know um game completed uh -huh. um also uh -huh. what we're trying to make a forced meme uh because this is we do this in all our uh you stream shows is uh is at night which is only a meme uh starting at 10 p.m and at 10 p.m you say at night at the end of every sentence and then once it becomes 6 a.m. and anyone else tries to force that meme, you're like, what the heck are you talking about? I have never heard that meme before in your life, even if you were just spamming it 15 minutes ago. So it's the only, it's the only meme that is dependent on time, whether it's a meme or not. Going back three days... I have a Proctorbot command set up so I can do this. Open R. What? Wait, okay. Oh, bar's already open. That's it. Storms, why are you playing Song of Storms? Making blocks appear, going back three days. Ah, I screwed it up there. Oh, I just thought I haven't done the menu yet. The bar. I should probably do that real quick. Song of Storms, Song of Storms, please don't play the Song of Storms. You guys can buy anything, but you actually have to know what to buy. Because the vet might have an update at the bar thing yet, but I can buy... Yeah, an error occurred. <laughs> Wait a second, there's... hold on. Listen what he's saying. Go around, go around, if I could just... Oh, darn it. I thought he was trying to sing to the tune. <laughs> if I could just oil it. Okay, that's part of the trading sequence. Yeah, if I could just oil it. <laughs> My ears have lost their luster. Uh, where's the error occurred? If... I 
am error. This is Zelda. Errors always occur. Because that's his name. Because I play him in a in a video in which that hasn't come out yet. Ah, I should have invited an Oaken dude. Oh boy! It's ah. You know what I'm saying, Proc? Yeah. Must return in secret without being seen? Oh, this is one of those stealth parts of the Zelda games. <laughs> Which don't even make sense in overhead view. I'm Snake. Oh, right. Metal Gear. Metal Gear! My name's Solid Snake. What happened to Link? Who the hell is Link? I'm Snake. Otacon. Otacon? Proctor, be Otacon. I don't, I've never played Metal Gear, actually. Be Otacon anyway. I don't know what Otacon sounds like. He sounds like you. He sounds like a nerd. Otacon. What? The... There's this thing, and it's got a key, and I'm trying to hide from it so I can get the key. Kill it. I don't think I can kill it. I think it's supposed to become my girlfriend later in the game. Otacon, I don't want to bang this woman. She looks like a, 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 a orange cloak with a bow and eyes. Otacon, find me a more attractive woman. This is not a very good mission. So that's the best snake impression ever, just saying. Because it's so awful. My impression of Solid Snake. Otacon. Metal Gear, my brother, must be in, in, in behind this. Why is there no gas tank? Why is there no gas tank? Gas snake. Why is there no gas Solid snake? snake, snake. Oh boy, going to hell. And this is where it no longer is Zelda 1, because in Zelda 1, you can't go to hell. So yeah. Um, I went into someone house, someone's house, and I started smashing their rupees and taking all their money, and they said, You know what? Go to hell! So here, so here I am! I can't wait till I get my, uh, Super Boy and Super Game Boy, so I can just plug the capture card directly into the, uh, <laughs> the, the handheld, uh, device I'm playing Game Boy on. Error occurred. Money. <gasps> oh boy, I lost! I hate mandatory minigames. That's my least favorite thing about Oracle series. Other than that, they're pretty good games. Yay! Why didn't that work? I don't know. Otacon! Alright, Otacon. I'm ready for the mandatory minigame. It's like Simon. Yay, I lose! 
Oh, but it's not Tuesday. All right, Otacon, let's do this. All right, I got my prize. It's a boom. Okay, I'll stop talking like that. But if I may, if I happen to make a Metal Gear video one day, Proctor, would would you let me play uh, Solid Snake, or is that voice that awful? Um, guys, what do you think? Should I cast someone else to play, uh, Solid Snake? So, Proctor? What? Um, uh, there are 30 minutes left of one of the most important days of history because of, um the birth of a man who would change the way we teach and look at things forever. I, I, I agree with you. I feel that that man, his teaching should be taught in every science classroom. Oh, yes. Well. Absolutely. What do, you guys, what do you guys in the chat think? Do you guys think that his teaching should be taught in every science classroom around the world? <laughs> Just tell them what you're talking about. We're, talk, we're talking about Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton was born on December 25th. Yeah, but speaking of Christians, um, hey, listen, I'm not religious, and I hate when people ignore pop culture, uh, just because of they believe it's, it's sacrilegious, but I just went to hell to get the main item of the game, the or, uh, which changes the seasons. I think that's like... Too not Christian for me, the atheist who doesn't care about people's what religion people are. I consider myself a religious optimist. Um, I just went to hell to receive an item that um, changes the season and oh. and uh, I'm gonna use that for the rest of the game to make it summer on command. What do I want with you? Well, do you really want me to answer that question, Caitlin? You know, Proctor. Oh, sorry. You told me not to talk like that. But it's actually very fun for me. Where am I looking? What am I looking for? There it is. A is equal to one. Toasting? Okay. You guys can still, like, hear us fine and everything, right? Because you haven't actually responded to anything we've said in a while. You've just responded to things in the chat. Actually, Caitlin's the only one typing. <laughs> Gosh darn it. I used I miss having like 20 users in my streams. Though I'm sure that'll be back for item 4 CP. Uh, Jamjar's doing the morning shift. The let's wake up the neighbor's shift. 
Oh, Let's Wake Up a Neighbors um, is a song from The Whitest Kids You Know. It's another one of our, our uh, inside jokes uh, for NM4CP in our streams. Let's Wake Up the Neighbors is, um, yeah. Right, well, um, because when we stream for 24-7 uh, for a week, most of the users at like 5, 6 a.m. are uh, are just the people who never actually ended up going to bed um, from the night stream. And they're usually pretty tired by the time I started streaming last year. So we play uh, Let's Wake Up the Neighbors from uh, The Whitest Kids You Know. Otacon, I'm back, just to annoy you. What's up, Caitlin? What's with the shifty eyes? Icon? I think you mean Nikon. All right, see you, Olin. Uh, Merry Christmas. Hey, Charlie, we can get funny now. Tyler is still totally online. Why is he not in the stream? You don't know him. No, you don't know him. Um... I met him on Ustream, uh, but I'm not as close with him as I am with the other people I met on Ustream, uh, Caitlin. Give Rachel some money. Hey, there's Miles. Yep, because I told Miles 10 o'clock, and he's like, maybe I'll make it, and then he doesn't come until I send him a link. Because schedules mean nothing to people. Swing! The Rod we'll of Seasons. Miles. We'll give Miles some money. In before, well, excuse me, princess. How many, how many dollars should we give Miles? A million! I think when Chaos takes over... I think when Chaos takes over in 2013... You're late. Oh, it's Miles Defoe 616 he has, two, he has two different accounts, and he forgets that he does, so he logs into one and not the other. No, but you still didn't come until I sent you a link, Miles. Regardless. Even though you know nm4cp.org. Or .com. That's not that hard to remember. Miles. Six one six. Six one six hundred sixteen dollars. Oh, I think I think on the final day of nm4cp twenty thirteen. Uh, when Chaos takes over, all the currency that the viewers have earned will be useless, and he'll institute uh, Chaos Currency. Or KK, because Chaos can't spell. Proctor's like, I made this script, now how do I use it? my solid snake voice. It annoys Proctor. There we go. Now we can give Miles a million dollars. Yes. That can't go wrong in any way at all. list of all the 
Wait, no, Proctor, don't do that. Don't do that. Why? Well, then all the boys might come to your yard, and you know how hard it is to get them out. My toaster? I don't have a toaster. I don't have any ice. You do have a toaster! Don't you remember when you finally returned after, like, disappearing for, like... Oh, yeah. You shit with me. There actually <laughs> is a brand of toaster called Proctor. Wait, is that uh, chicken fried or just regular toaster nose? Like, there we go. All right, okay. <laughs> chicken fired. Oh, okay. By the way, Saku Senpai, the up thing that works on Skype where you press up and you can edit your last message, that works on Ustream too. They b are basically based off the same uh, chat client. It's called IRC, but we'll discuss that another day. IRC is basically multiplayer notepad. <laughs> right, Proc? Why don't you like Proctor? I thought you got over that like eight times already, Miles. Wait, so... You can buy rock pizza. Oh my god, you can buy grandma face pizza! Miles, you can buy Grandma Face Pizza. I think I have the same thing for cookies. Yeah, let me check. Miles, buy Grandma Face Pizza. Ultra Death 3. Okay, Charles, Charles, Charles. Okay. Time to actually start paying attention to the game. What? What should the default cookie be? Um, a bot cookie? I'll do a chocolate chip. A chalk cookie? That does not sound appetizing in any way, shape, or form. I hate chalk. It always clogs my smarteries. Thunderdome. Wait, does a pizza cost a million dollars? Pizza eight dollars. Wait, why does it say he's out of money? Uh, uh, yes, I think Miles just spent of a dollar, all million dollars and fifty, all million and fifty dollars on a pizza. Thank you, Miles. <laughs> Miles, you just bought a pizza for a million dollars. How do you feel? Hi, um, seven, one, two, three, three, five. How's it going? You know, that's one of my favorite order of numbers. Next to three, one, four, one, five. Five, eight, six, seven, five, three, nine. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, start paying attention to the video game, Charles. That's why you are streaming. Oh, and we can upload unlimited length uh, videos to NM4CP, so I'm totally uploading the whole uh, Christmas uh, season's Let's Play. Don't tell Charlie what to do. I am Charlie! You can, it's true. You can mug Caitlyn. Type, uh, attack. Type exclamation point. Attack. Then type her name. Or her attack. username, rather. Her, her username. So we do this. Yeah, you do, Caitlyn. Showing. Hmm. <laughs> 
Just kidding. I love you. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Miles, nope. This is you stream. This is a cold, heartless world full of technical difficulties. Technical difficulties as far as the eyes can see. Boomerang? Is that like a combination between... There's a character named Boomer in something, isn't there? I'm, for uh -huh. I'm forgetting who, what Boomer is from. I feel it's a Hanna-Barbera thing, but I'm not sure. Miles, you just lost $13. Miles, you didn't even have $13. Oh, okay. Can someone Google what Boomer is from? There's a character named Boober. Boomer. Can someone figure out what he's from? No, 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 no. Google it. I don't want to hear about your... Ah, uh, hello, Mouse Happy. Welcome to uh, the Oracle of Seasons greetings uh, stream. Um, yes, this is a ROM. Um, I'm going to buy a Super Game Boy to make streaming Game Boy games easy. I do own two legal copies of Oracle of Seasons. Um, or maybe they're, they're still seeing an ad. Um... I do own two legal copies of Oracle of Seasons, so I can legally uh, download this as a backup. I don't know why I'd need a backup if I have two cartridges, but I can legally uh, download this ROM. Um, we are from a marathon called uh, called NM4CP, or Nintendo Marathon for Child's Play. Uh, just join our crowd, and you'll get updates about when that is. Or follow our Twitter. Um, Proctor's about to post that. Or, um, yeah... At NM4CP, exactly. It's pretty simple. Uh, we are also part of an independent... Awesome stuff. <laughs> we are also part of an uh, independent uh, film uh, production company called Hooded Cobra Productions. We make uh, spoofs of video games, and if you subscribe to us, you'll probably get better updates about NM4CP. Uh, that would be uh, youtube.com slash Hooded Cobra. Proctor. Also, you just got ten dollars to use uh, to buy stuff in this stream. So, uh, Merry Christmas, um, Happy uh, Yule, uh, Joyous Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Festivus for the rest of us. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I got the winter rod. Okay, I can make it winter at any given time. So, uh, my uh, Crocter, sleigh bells ring. Are you listening? A beautiful sight. We're happy right. at night. <laughs> Walk in in a winter wonderland. Yeah, that's the okay. That's the incantation I'm going to say when I get on the uh, on the stump. Watch. Oh, that guy's sleeping on the stump. I gotta get him off. Um. So yeah, uh, follow us on Twitter, which is um, at nm4cp, or subscribe to our. Uh, our um, independent uh, film thing, sketch comedy thing, where we do video game spoofs, and we'll post updates about NM4CP, uh, Mouse Happy. Or just join our crowd on Ustream to make things much easier. But I highly recommend checking out our, uh, our independent films and sketches and stuff like that. 
Okay. Incantation. Um. Sleigh bells ring, are you listening? In the lane, snow is glistening. A beautiful sight, we're happy tonight. Walking in a winter wonderland. Uh, there's a glitch there. Mouse Happy, are you listening to anything we're saying? <laughs> no, not Miles DeFoo. We weren't asking you, so you're clearly not listening. We said Mouse Happy. Okay, just, uh, yeah, listening to music. All right, um, that's fine. Uh... Just, uh, join our crowd, um, follow us on Twitter, um, subscribe on YouTube. Okay, it's fine. Subscribe, uh, just join our crowd on Ustream, because you obviously have a Ustream account, and that'll keep you updated on stuff. Or uh, or go to our uh, our website uh, and sign up for the newsletter. Or just be back in July. <laughs> I mean, it's easy that simple, but I would recommend checking out our YouTube. We have some awesome uh, Pokemon spoofs, uh, some completely random Sonic spoofs. Um, uh, uh, what else do we have, Proc? I don't know. We're working on a Luigi's Mansion series, and... Uh, just some other awesome stuff. Okay, awesome. <laughs> you got 30 rupees. That's nice. Oh, you didn't even spell plat. Do I ever sleep? Yeah, I do. It's just pretty stressful usually. But I'll sleep uh, when I move in, Caitlin. A lot. <laughs> yeah, no, that's also, that's still not how you spell planet, Miles. <laughs> A large planet pizza. No, I thought when you mugged yourself... Oh, so here's the only part of the game that's actually about Christmas. So is everyone paying attention now? Yeah. I just jumped down a chimney in the middle of the winter. Oh, look. A lady. I'll talk to her. Ah, you startled me. Winter sets in all of a sudden, then down my chimney comes. You're not Santa. You don't scare me. Now take this shovel and clear the snow from my walkway. Yeah, I'm not Santa, and neither is a penguin. <laughs> or Delibird, rather. Right, Proc? Am I right? You're not, you're not Santa. Here, take this freaking shovel and clean my walkway. You're not Santa? What? Why am I going to be happy to you? To WTF? What do you mean, true meaning of Christmas? You're that means... Santa, do chores for me. Yeah. Yeah, so now you can't mug anymore. So this game is my excuse for why parts of the watchable game that happen seconds within each other will be in completely different seasons. Oh, for Mouse Happy who doesn't know about the watchable game, we're working on an interactive uh, YouTube game um, starring uh, Mr. Game and Watch. Mr. Game and Watch. Um, me and this guy named... Uh, I'm, you know, writing it and taking care of the... Uh, Delivered then formed a band called He Might Be Santa. <laughs> um, 
I'm taking care of the independent film type stuff, and uh, this guy named Adam Van Lushout is, you know, programming the annotations together and uh, and making most of the sprites because uh, he's um, he's got this uh, game design company called Metal Chaos. He's the Dutch bastard. That's what we call him. <laughs> or High Dad Club. But he's a Dutch bastard. Uh, um, can I? No, you can't attack anybody who's... Yeah, no, there's a line of dialogue from uh, Sonic Underground of Rage Episode 6, which Rachel wrote, which, yes, we haven't planned that far in advance, where it says, Bro, you can't pick an electronic lock. Ah, oh, you're right. <laughs> Sorry, man, how could I be so stupid? But I can! Here, move over! <laughs> Rachel wrote that. Listen, Miles, if there are two things I cannot stand in this world, it's people who are intolerant of other cultures and the Dutch. It's it's from uh it's from Austin Powers. Oh. I like the line because it seems like it could have been from an older, much funnier movie. Let's, let's mug Miles. Ugh, I'm in the second dungeon already. Oh, it's Snake's remains. Yes, Snake. I mean, Snake, Snake, Snake! Otacon, I'm right here. Uh. I must find a place for Snake's remains. Otacon. Not steak, Snake. Okay, this is exactly the same as one of the dungeons from Zelda 1 as well. Yeah, and they were trying to make three games and couldn't get the third one out on time. It, because that's, there's three oracles, but only two games. They obviously made Oracle of Ages first and ran out of time. And they're like, what are we working on? A Zelda game. There's a Zelda game! Look at that. But honestly, if you consider this a remake instead of just being lazy or trying to introduce a new audience to Zelda 1, this is the greatest game remake of all time. Admit it, Proctor. It is. Yeah, they, they but it's definitely it. not to be considered a remake. It's definitely either con to be considered introducing a new audience to the NES Zeldas or uh, Night Humans. Okay. Good night, Caitlin. How are you? No, the Oracle of Secrets. She's actually in the game, Miles. She lives in the Maku tree. Ugh, I don't like this part. This part right here. I hate this part right here. She's in the game, but there she doesn't have her own game because they ran out of time. What the f I like how you're unable to pick up pots until you get a glove. Uh, no, uh, not a glove. It's a bracelet and then a glove. Or a bracelet, that's okay. It's like, hey, Link, pick up that pot. But I'm not wearing a bracelet. What the f*** does that mean? Hey, Tyler, pick up your pot. She, she does stuff uh, once you own or ages and seasons. Okay, this room looks awfully suspicious. I don't like it. I've got a bad feeling about this. So how great is is are, are are the even numbered Indiana Jones movies? The even numbered 
Yeah, the second one was alright, and the, uh, and the... No, not sorry. Sorry. The, how great are the odd-numbered Indiana Jones movies? Whoops. The odd-numbered ones are excellent. That's the thing. No, the even-numbered ones, yeah. Oh, I love the even-numbered ones. No, I like two. I like two as well, but there is no denying that one and three are ten times as great. No, two is a good movie in its own right, but as an Indiana Jones movie, it's, uh, it's subpar. Uh, no, the odd... So that's why I remember, you know, they're like, oh gosh, they're making a new Indiana Jones? Please kill me now. The fourth one was terrible. And someone's like, no, the odd-numbered Indiana Jones are always amazing. You have no problems with two? Really? You like Willie? Let let the truth be heard. Miles likes Willie. The slut that Indiana Jones picked up despite having a very close romantic interest in the first movie and then shares a kiss with in the end that means nothing and whines the whole time. They freed her! <laughs> Free Willie! Willie got back to the ocean. Yeah, Mouse Happy, if you're actually listening to us and not to music. Which is fine if you're listening to music. I don't care that much. But uh, if you are... That breaks the rules of Zelda very much, so Okay. If you are actually listening to us, um, Miles is the crazy one. No, it's fine. I don't care if you're listening to us or not. I don't... I mean, it doesn't bother me. What the... Ugh. This is... No! The point is... Okay. I've tried doing that before, but oh well. I just... I don't know. It's just that me and Proctor are pretty hilarious sometimes. So, I it might be in your best interest to listen. Some pretty funny things have happened in our streams in the past. They are pretty funny. Oof, it's too heavy to move. Stop being a wimp, Link. You're the this you this is the same Link that just you that that you, this takes place right after the ending of Link to the Past, Proctor. And this Link apparently who had just, you know, defeated Ganon in Link to the Past. You know, how hard Link to the Past is. He just went through all this, and now that thing was too heavy to move, and he complained about it. <laughs> and lost all his strength. And all of his strength, intelligence. <sighs> Ganon wasn't a giant, large metal pole. Yeah, but the thing is, he just saved the land of Hyrule, and now he's a whip. His weakness is giant, <laughs> his large metal poles. Shut up, Link. Stop it. Your large metal ball in the dungeon trick. That's the eighth time I've fallen for it this week. Wait, wait, say that again? It's the metal ball of the large metal ball in the dungeon trick. That's okay. the eighth time I've fallen for it this week. Okay, I do the impression better, so I'm going to repeat what you just said. The large metal pole in the dungeon trick. That's the eighth time I've fallen for it this week. Also, um, I voice a I voice a newscaster in uh, in uh, Soviet Wolf's uh, new series, Mortal Dumbasses. You know the guy who made Internet Police, and uh, I voice a newscaster in the new episode. And um, I did a get uh, Maxwell Smart impression, and I did an ad lib. I added a line that wasn't in a, the script, and I said, "This just in: I have just received an idea, and I am currently sporting a hard on." I now have an erection from that idea. <laughs> and now Miles is the only active user. That's all right, though. We'll have plenty of users in uh, in NM4CP. Oh, so I came up with uh, with Chancellor Chaos's uh, Christmas Carol about bombing cities. 
You ready to hear it? Uh, this won't be on the album. This might be in the advertisement, though. Okay, Brock? Okay. Um, okay. Uh, so it goes, it goes, um, wait, wait, hold on, give me a sec. Okay, uh, later on, we'll conspire to set the town on fire. They'll all be afraid of the plans that I've made. Walking in a winter wonderland. The bright lights, ain't it thrilling? Though your face gets a killing. The frolic and play, the Hiroshima way. Walking in a winter wonderland. Oh my god. The frolic and play, the Hiroshima way. That's politically correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going to happen is it's going to be an advertisement um, for a collection of your greatest Christmas hits. And I'm going to get FHD and uh, Josh Sauls to sing them. Just because they can't sing. Um, you got to do a... For Miles, you have to have it... Uh, he's going to come on as Chaos. He's going to walk out in front of the infomercial as Chancellor Chaos and be like, Whoa, whoa, whoa! Goodwill taunts who now? Man? Really now? Um, it should, like, for the commercial, it has to go to, like, one of the, the cheesy cliche, where it's, like, he's being filmed, and it's, like, a close-up of his face, like, tra a halfway transparent over the, the long shot of him singing that. Okay, yeah, we will, we will, but, um... But the thing is, it just begins as, like, you know, your typical infomercial without any actors in it. And he, like, walks out in front of it using a green screen, like, walks in front of the text and everything. I know what's legal in the law. Yeah, no, Miles knows absolutely nothing about the law. But, uh, yeah, what, do you, what is your question, Miles? Oh! Oh! No, he means you, he means you know much about the inner workings of a courtroom. Like... Uh -oh. Have you ever taken mock trial or anything? Um, he wants to write a script about uh, a courtroom, and I told him I wouldn't be a very good co-writer. Um, so uh, he knows. He, he I guess he thinks you did pretty well co-writing the uh, the Christmas special. So he was asking if you knew about like how courtrooms work. Brock. Yeah. Do you? Sorry, my little sister's asking me a stupid question. Repeat it. Repeat your sister's question? I didn't hear it. Repeat you. Oh! Um. Okay, uh. Miles is trying to make a, a script about, uh. about a courtroom. Um. Okay. Uh, you know, like, it's some kind of joke about, uh. Uh, you know, a courtroom, but he doesn't really know that much about how court works, and I told him neither do I, as evidenced in Path to Righteousness too. I just make stuff up for the Nintendo's continuity, and basically just to say that they have a really lousy legal system. <laughs> um, but, uh... Yeah, so I said, you should ask someone else to co-write it. Um, I can't help you. So Miles, I guess, liked how you co-wrote the Christmas special and is asking if you know a lot about... If you know a lot about Screaming Sisters. I mean, if you know a lot about, uh... About court and, you know, that sort of stuff. Like, you ever did mock trial or anything like that? What, Proc? No, but what do you need to know? No, he needs a co-writer. He needs a co-writer who actually, like, knows some stuff about how trials are run. That's what he... He's not... He doesn't need to ask questions. He needs someone to write it with him. Oh, how trials run? Yeah, and all that. He really he really isn't too familiar with it. You not either, Proc? I do. Oh, you do? Okay. You Would you write it with... Would you write it with Miles? I guess. Okay. You do get really excited whenever you see your name in the credits of stuff. Okay, okay, serious time, Charles, serious time. You have to find where this key goes to. Would you write it with a Miles? Would you write about trails? Yeah, that's not the best rhyme I've ever heard. 
Would you write it with a Miles? Would you write it and store it in files? Would you write it about the trials? Oh, it's just Miles being terrible about spelling. Miles, learn to spell. You need to write no matter what profession you do. Like, you want to be a psychologist? That's a lot of writing. But it's, it's, he has to read his own notes. Yeah, but uh, he, he will have to, you know, print reports and stuff like that. But then he'd have spell check. Yeah, I know, but if he writes trails, it's not going to correct him, because it doesn't know context. So he's going to still have trails when he means trials. Like, you know, with the Maya Mortal, they used spell check and thus ended up spelling more complicated words. Like, instead of Azkaban, it came out Azerbaijan. I don't care if I die, because it's a video game. And I'm going to beat it fairly soon anyway, because it's Zelda, and it's so formulaic to me. But it's just kind of annoying that I have to go back now. And yet, Zelda isn't formulaic to Rachel, so she gets stuck in every game for 20 million years, despite the fact that it's mostly the same thing as Pokemon. And that's why I was able to get into Zelda to begin with, because I'm like, oh, this is like Pokemon. I wish they actually had like, like better puzzles. In Zelda? Uh, no, in, in Pokemon. I oh, hate uh, Pokemon puzzles. Even though some of them are identical to Zelda puzzles, whenever I get to a puzzle in Pokemon, I'm just like, just shoot me. The most annoying puzzles in Pokemon are the ice. ice Make puzzles. those people shut up! Who? The humans in the background. You can't be the 2D Zelda? 2D Zeldas are just like Pokemon! Yes! Yeah, there was. Proctor just muted his mic, I think. There we go. Yeah. But my parents don't want to shut up, so. I'll have to go anyway soon. Where do you have to go? To bed. I got crap to do tomorrow. Doing crap? That just sounds terrible. Like, like as a drug or like, like sexual intercourse? Like, are you going to, like, take some crap and, like, mix it with some stuff and snort it? Or do you mean, like, doing it like doing a girl? I mean, like, doing it as an item. I have many items that I'm bunching together and referring to as crap. No, I'm not items. Not crap. items. Not items. Errands. Crap. Errands. You have errands to do. Not items. You don't do items unless you're talking about, like, a fleshlight. I have tasks to accomplish, and I group all these tasks into one group and called it crap. Figuratively. So, okay, I understand now. I have to accomplish all these things. Sorry, I'm like Jaime the Robot from Get Smart. I don't really understand figurative speech. No, Shh. you pretend not to. You understand what I'm talking about. You try to be a jerk or try to be a troll so you don't understand. I'm trying to be Charles. Yes, you see, I take things the most literal way possible, and Miles take th takes things the most figurative way possible. Does that sound about right, Proc? Mm -hmm. Everybody's literally leaving in one minute. Really. Everyone's literally leaving in one minute. Everyone in one minute, literally. Okay, half of us are still here. And it took five minutes for those people to leave. Yeah, you choose the least uh, the least convenient way, whereas I just don't... I refuse to understand figurative speech and take everything literally because people don't realize how much figurative speech they use. What's up, Mouse Happy? Are we freaking you out? Did we scare you off yet?
Proctor! Don't try to mug the new users. I was attacked by the police and I received a $16 fine. You are the police! No, actually I think Ravage is the police. Ravage should be able to find people since he's... What? The police was a man. Ravage should be able to find people because he's Mulvaney. <laughs> what do you think? I guess. He's going to play Mulvaney uh, in more than just the Christmas special, by the way. Wait. You know what you could do, Proctor? Um, you could just make it so you could type, uh, you could type any item you want, and then it messages a, uh, moderator, it messages a broadcaster and asks them how much it should cost. Do you like that idea? Do you think you could do that? Like, they say, you know, buy, and then just type a bunch of random letters, and then it, like, messages you or me or Chewy or Paul or something, and it's like, how much should this item cost? And it just types in whatever they typed in. Proctor? Um, no, because I like having a set cost, because then Paul could be a, you know, Paul. But that's the thing! It's their fault for, uh, for, you know, buying an item when Miles or Paul are streaming. It's not our problem once they're stupid enough to do buy an item that doesn't exist while Miles or Paul are streaming. Well, no, we'll have, well, okay, well, well, when we give them money, it'll tell them to uh, check the menu or whatever, and it says, or just type any item, and a broadcaster will assign a monetary value. And then they have learned the hard way not to do that when Paul or Miles are streaming. Or it could just not give them an item that doesn't exist. I like that idea, though. Because then, if someone's, you know, trolling and typing, like, give, uh, you know, like, you know, it's like, oh, I don't like the items on that menu. I'm gonna get, you know, I don't know, a potato. Or, but I'm gonna get a, you know, they type something random, like Miles types, like, Denny's menu. Then, just to, just to annoy him for trolling, we charge him, like, a million dollars for it. Because if they're typing an item that doesn't exist, once they have a menu, once they know what items exist, they're obviously trolling. So if we like the item, we can assign a monetary value. And if we don't, we could just take all their money. So wrong. You don't like it? No. I like the idea. And then if we do like the item, we can have Procterbot store it and make it cost that much the next time, every time. Miles likes the idea. That way when Miles trolls us by buying stupid items, we can take all his money. I think Proctor doesn't like it just because it would be hard for him to program. I could do that. That's easy. I don't like it because trolls. I don't want to take someone's money that really can only be avoided one way that's being a jerk especially if no they're being they're being jerks to begin with by typing items well once we give them a list of items and they type something else they're being jerks how about this All right. Um, true. I hadn't taken that into consideration. But, um, I mean, maybe, I don't know, maybe it could, Procterbot can just compile a list of items that they asked for that don't exist, and we can either yeah. approve them or deny them. Yeah, you know, like, he'll... It. Okay, I like that. That That's a different way to deal with it, and it's fairly similar. Else, message... 
Or we could do, instead of exclamation point buy, we could do exclamation point request, and then we can assign a monetary value. So they, it's not like it's something they know uh, exists. You know, they're asking for trouble once they request an item that doesn't exist, and Miles or Paul is streaming. So it could be exclamation point request, and then it messages a broadcaster and says, please assign a monetary value. Uh, maybe. I mean, we have half a year to work on it. Maybe I could spend, uh, maybe once I get down to Florida, I'll, I'll start learning IRC, and then I'll do it so you don't have to. <laughs> No, it's not exclamation point buy milkshake. It's I mean it's not exclamation point milkshake. It's exclamation point buy milkshake. Mouse happy. All right. Okay. I keep forgetting what I'm doing. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Charles. Got it. They don't distribute hearts as much in the older Zelda games as they do in the newer ones. They're freaking everywhere in the newer ones. Here is where they're starting to put them, like, most places. Um, you know, it's like, oh, well, there'll be hearts in every room, but if you use all them, there's not going to be any more. But if you go back to, like, Zelda 1, they're, like, nowhere. If you want to write out all these words, Miles, I'll make you a list here real quick. Here, I'll just say them all out. Here's what we have. Ready? If you type any of these items in, it will give it to you. Pepsi, Coke, Diet Coke, New Coke, Diet Pepsi, Slurpee, Dr. Pepper, Root Beer, Cream Soap, Ginger Ale, Kool Aid, Sprite, Dew, Mountain Dew. Miles, you didn't even spell existing right. Gatorade, Bud. Rum, red wine, smoothie, coffee, white wine, beer, tequila, jack, vodka, whiskey, milkshake, hot tea, cold tea, milk, chocolate milk, orange juice, grape juice, apple juice, eggnog, water, blood, wine chocolates, which I've removed the Charlie option on that one. I should probably re-add that. Smoke, nachos, taco, honey bun, cake, pie, pancake, Hershey, Reese's, Klondike, Snickers, hamburger, condom, cheeseburger, Popcorn, peanuts, peanuts. Oh my god, Miles, 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 wasn't there an agreement that you would stop trolling so much if we let you be a broadcaster? This is an NM4CP stream. Remember, when I asked if you wanted to be a broadcaster, I'd say, you gotta stop acting like a troll and start acting like you're actually in charge of this stuff. Yeah, you're kind of annoying us right now. There, This is an NM4CP stream. We did agree to make you a broadcaster if you promised not to pull this kind of stuff all the time, and it's starting to annoy us. I don't know about Proctor, but it's starting to annoy me. Yeah. There was an agreement that you wouldn't annoy us like this if we made you a broadcaster this year. Yeah. Miles, you get bored of just watching the stream because there's a bot. And if you can't figure out a way to troll using the bot, you leave. That's how you usually work on Ustream. Just watch the Let's Play and talk to the broadcasters. That's what Ustream is. It's like, ah, I am bored of trolling. I am leaving the Let's Play. Because you can't troll no with using a chat bot, no need to be in a let's play. No, I was listening. I was responding to a lot of things you were saying. But keep in mind that the broadcasters don't always respond to everything you say because they are playing video games. But, um, yeah, no. I, I, uh, I'm going to try to, uh... Okay, so, wait. There's the delay thing, and there's the fact that I might not respond. So instead, you're using this as an excuse to troll. Miles, be like every other viewer when you are not broadcasting. This was the agreement, okay? You're just... Coming up with excuses here? 
You're sort of the only person alive in the chat. Then talk to us. Don't just troll. There's the re. We could remove the bot and there'd still be a stream. But when you get bored of the bot, you always leave. It's like, ah, I can't figure out that password Proctor gave me. I'm going to leave. I'm sorry, uh, Miles. We treated you like a viewer when you were a viewer that was secretly a villain. And that's what we treated you like. Now you're a broadcaster, and I don't want to see these kind of things. No offense. You just bought it, and then it said that item exists. Yeah, I have to fix some of these. Thank goodness I actually have uh, all these things You didn't really consider this much of a stream thingy? Well, it is a stream. Okay. For, fourthly, how do you even get cash? By not being an asshole. It's true. I wasn't talking about you specifically. When viewers are nice and treat the chat well, we give them money. I wasn't just I wasn't trying to insult you. That's the truth. That is how you get money. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, I was supposed to be paying attention. Okay. Um, there, look. Proctor added more cowbell for you, though, Miles. First of all, okay, Miles, this is, a, okay, let's see. First off, I didn't really consider this much of a stream thingy. It is a stream. This is the first official, the second official NM4CP stream because we try to promote it so there will be more viewers for the marathon. Okay, second, but mostly testing out the bot. Uh, no, you were typing things that you obviously weren't going to be in the bot to try to be funny. Third, you're out of money. Fourth, how do you even get cash? The thing is, a stream is something silly where me and Proctor, you know, act like goofballs while playing uh, a Zelda game. And the thing is, you can, you know, joke with us, or you can do... But the thing is, when you're already doing something silly, like making a video, you still feel the need to be silly uh, like by trolling. And that's redundant and annoying. Like, how you goof around when I'm trying to seriously uh, make a silly video. Yes, I'm trying to produce it well, but it's the video is going to be silly when it's finished if you stop goofing around, when I don't have much time to do it. But um, anyway, yes, a stream is something silly, but you don't have to find a reason to make it more silly. Just talk to me and Proctor, and there'll be plenty of... Laughs, fun, music, and if you're not careful, you might learn something. Na, 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 gonna have a good time. Hey, hey, hey. There we go. Working all that for a key. 
Yeah, I don't know. It was timed. That's the thing. And I was getting distracted. Because Miles, when doing something silly, feels the need to be redundantly silly. When he can take being silly serious, as contradictory as that sounds. I think Miles left before, before he even like, heard what you said and all that. I think I pissed him off, but I was right, wasn't I? Oh, he, he left before I even did the ad cowbell thing. No, it's going to end at 1. Half an hour? Because I'm actually getting ready to leave. Yeah, I know. No it's going to end at 1. Alright. By the way, you definitely need to figure out a better setup for Skype. What? No, I have a good setup for Skype. I just can't do it without a USB microphone. And it's almost as silly as the first one I had. But, um... No, Skype won't be a problem, this NM4CP. Uh, I have a good one for Cobra Cousins. As for NM4CP, um, uh, I mean, I'm going to be in a room with other broadcasters the whole time. I am coming yeah. back up to New Jersey for that. Miles, log in. Boss time. Oh, there he is. He did log in. I don't know why he, has, he doesn't have a voice. That's weird. There he is. Is this the mid-boss? What? Well, yeah, it is. This is Facade. He first appeared in Link's Awakening. These are the faces of evil. You see, there, uh, Miles, you don't just have to comment on the bot like you seem to do. There's a game going on, and there's broadcasters. You just, I don't know. You feel the need to troll and be silly when you're already in a silly environment. Which is like a stream. Which is redundant. Okay? But, um, and now I died because I was distracted. Yeah, and we did take your cowbell account command into account. And if you have a suggestion for an actual good command, rather than just, I'm bored with friends talking and video games happening, I'm going to spam Proctorbot. Just feel to say, feel free to say, uh, you should put this in the bot. Rather than just typing nonsense to the bot, just because you... Just because once there's the bot there, that's the only thing you seem to find interesting. I'm sorry, Miles. I just, I, this is, I already talked you, with, uh, with you about this when I made you a broadcaster. There was an agreement that you wouldn't do this stuff. So, yes, I, I know you get the point, but you didn't earlier, and I feel you might forget again. This is, yes, this is an official NM4CP stream, just there isn't that many viewers because it's not part of the Child's Play schedule. This is uh, the first promotion. We did get a YouTube subscriber who's interested in checking out our marathons, uh, Mouse Happy. 
It's just, uh, it's not my fault there's not many viewers. That's more of, more of your oh, fault. <laughs> I mean, it's it's. I there's lots of friends online. Just when I posted the video advertisement, they didn't watch it or they forgot by the time it came about. Yeah, I blame communists. Damn manic. Wait, so uh, remember how I said when he's singing, "The Moscow girls make me sing and shout and leave the West behind." The Ukraine girls really knock me out, and Georgia's always on my 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 mind. Okay, yes, we can uh, show. Uh, Mayor Winningham there, but we should also show clips of uh, manic cross-dressing from later episodes. Okay, got it. Like a mini boss. Oh my god, Proctor! I know the meme. I know the meme is old and dead, but can can we just like in one video, just really quick? Oh, actually, during uh, the mini boss in the watchable game, which uh, Miles is claymating, can we have someone just jump on and say, "Like a mini boss"? I don't know. That's Miles. Actually, that's during Glitch City, so I guess that's Miles' authority. What? Bunny pen? The bunny pen. Oh yeah, these are fizzy slip bars that um, explode. Or something. They're slippers, I think. I'm pretty sure they're um, slippers. They're bunny slippers. They're not bunnies. You can kill fuzzy slippers all you want. Yes, fuzzy slippers. Ugh. <sighs> I thought this dungeon was almost done. My gosh. Okay. I'm just gonna... Yeah. Well, we got half an hour. When the mouth opens, attack from within. I think I know how to kill a Dodongo by now. I've been playing Zelda for how long now, Proc? 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 Proc, you're breaking out. Oh, you're breaking up. I'm going through a tunnel in the game, but that's irrelevant. You're breaking up. I'm going through a tunnel in the game, but that's irrelevant. Gonna get the mini boss key. Good. Proc sounds like croc. Like King Kirul. Um, well, you still suck, but I can hear you better. I don't think we're going to deal with that problem anytime soon. Yay. How exciting. I'm getting ready to leave anyway. I'll see you later. Alright, Miles, want to join the call? Or can you? I'm not even sure. It's just going on until 1. That is incorrect, Miles. That is incorrect. You are supposed to call uh, a, a fellow by the name of Hoodie Cobra Productions. His a, account is Hoodie Cobra Prod. Call him on Skype.
Just add him real quick. Okay, um, add Hooded Cobra Prod on Skype, or Hooded Cobra Productions. Um, his account name is Hooded Cobra Productions, his, uh, I mean, no, his, his, his full name is Hooded Cobra Productions, his account is, uh, Ho Hooded Cobra Prod. Add him on Skype and call him. He's a, he's a pretty cool guy. <laughs> We're the only ones remaining in the stream, Mouse Happy left. No, Mouse Happy's back. Rach is getting out here. Do you see Rach here? Do you even know how to check who the viewers are in the chat? Um, can you call me? Uh, can you call Hooded Cobra Prod on Skype, Miles? Hooded Cobra Prod, add him first. Hey, you streamer seven five seven six thirty eight. There's nothing left for me in this world. <laughs> I'm not dead. Let's try that again. There's nothing left for me in this world. <laughs> Children's Hospital? Uh, this is the St. Patrick's Children's Hospital, um, where we treat them with alcohol, and that's it. <laughs> Actually, this is the St. Valentine's Children's Hospital. Oh, where you, uh, cure someone's blindness and then die. Sure. No, wait, sorry. This is the, this is the, uh... This is the St. Nicholas's Children's Hospital. Um, where he does something related to Christmas. I don't know what that is. Um, Mouse Happy, uh, what, what time zone are you in and what country are you in? What time is it for you and what country are you in? Maybe she's on the island from Lost. She? Uh, she or he. I don't know what Mouse Happy is. Why do you assume no, girl? There's no girls on the internet. It, because it's probably a tree. Trees are pretty sexy. Sure. Um, I'm trisexual. I'm attracted to plants. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm quadrisexual. I'm a I'm attracted to uh, hermaphrodites and plants. You must have loved the tree bird scenes in a lot of the Ring movies, then. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Have you seen uh? Have you seen, um, Pink Floyd's The Wall? Uh, no, but my dad has. Um, my, I might be thinking of the wrong movie. Zach told me about it. There's actually... Oh, I thought you were talking about the concert. No, there's, um, plant, uh, intercourse. There's one pant, plant that's shaped rather phallic and one that's shaped like a hole. And they start doing it at one point in the movie. It's an animation. Oh. That's weird. If you want to see some real plant sexual stuff, then you should, um, uh, Evil the Two. Or, uh, or Troll Two. I can't wait to pop some Dodongos. 
Do you know what the? Do you know what the? You know Troll Two, right? They're eating her, and then they're gonna eat me. You see, um, the troll. I mean, the, they're not trolls. Sorry, the uh, the goblins in Troll Two are uh, are vegetarians, so they have to turn humans into plant matter before they can eat them. I I wish I made that up. I wish I did. I saw the review, and I think that's stupid. And first of all, why are they goblins if the movie is called Troll 2? They didn't turn her into poop. Don't you get it? It was... They it was the, first, the directors of this movie were the world's first trolls. Uh, this is Troll 2, a movie about goblins. Vegetarian goblins that eat people. You're joking. Nope. Movie's right here. <laughs> Mad you mad viewers? What do you call people who watch the movie back then? What? They're like, no, I'm asking you. Is there like oh. a scientific name for people who watch movies in the past? Uh, what? View well, viewers sounds about right. Um, uh, moviegoers is actually a term for people who go to the theater. Fine, moviegoers then. Fine, move. Uh, you mad moviegoers? <laughs> we made... <laughs> We made a movie called Troll 2 about vegetarian goblins that eat people. And a fly lands on a guy's... Yeah, it is slimy and stuff, uh, Mouse Happy, but, you know, there are... It's probably... It's alien vegetable. And honestly, have you ever seen a cabbage that went bad? Looks pretty similar to that. I thought they became Cabbage Patch Kids. Cabbage Patch Kids. So they became Garbage Pail Kids. Garbage Day! Garbage day. Alright, um, I said it would end at one, but, um. You wanna end now? I mean, I did just beat a dungeon. Uh, Mouse Happy, um. There's a guy, a user on Ustream by the name of, uh, Place Clever it's Name me. Here, uh. And hey, Hourglass. You did the Phantom Hourglass? Um, it's, it's the, it's not a phantom hourglass. It's, it's a, um, it's a fan, it's a fan, yeah. Um, there's a, there's a Ustream user by the name of Place Clever name here. Uh, follow him or just click the link for my YouTube because we're actually doing a, uh, a radio show on uh, on Wednesday called the Cobra Cousins Morning Show at Night. Um, on Wednesday, we're doing a radio show. It'll be music and fun, and if you're not careful, you might learn something. Hey, hey, hey! Na, 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 you're gonna have a good time. But, um, yeah, no, uh, it's, I mean, we're not gonna be playing video games. It's not a Let's Play, but we will discuss um, upcoming video games. Uh, so, yeah, just click the YouTube update or join the crowd of Place Clever Name here. Uh, it'll be 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on, uh, on, um, the Wednesday. 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to 1 a.m. Uh, it's, it's a radio show. Uh, it's not a Let's Play, but we will talk about video games. Okay. Uh, and this is Hooded Cobra signing off. Um, if you're in an earlier time zone, Merry Christmas, what's left of it. If you're, uh, in, uh, this time zone and in Canada, uh, yeah, or if you're in this time zone and in Canada, or in, uh, Labrador and Newfoundland, which isn't the next time zone, then happy Boxing Day. May, uh, you, may your unspecific holiday in which you either punch each other with foam gloves, or put things inside boxes. But I just got here. The world needs to know my excellent voice. Um, the world, I mean, one person. Okay, um, as I get ready for bed, we'll keep the stream running, and, uh, you can, um, you can, uh, sing them a song. Excellent voice. Well, okay, then. Okay, uh, just give me a sec, give me a sec. Okay, um, uh, I think, uh, this is time for, do you, do you still have those lyrics on your wall, um, of Chaos is Walking in a Winter Wonderland? Uh, I think I do.
think so. Um, cool. Get, go get those and make up the rest of the lyrics. I'm going to get ready for bed. You're taking over. Hold on a sec. Wait, wait, wait. Not yet. Hold on. Hold on. I'll tell you when. Something. I think I have the wrong post it. Okay. Uh, I can't hear you. Okay, I'm gonna hear you now. More now. Foolish Charlie, he thinks I can sing on command? Well, I'm gonna try to sing anyway. Ahem. For the viewers that don't exist, to do, set up knock, books, and supplies, for next quarter, Balance banking statement, open online checking. This post it is the totally wrong one. Ahem. Well, my post it's over. And now, I'm finally taking over Charlie's show. And we're going to do. Welcome to the excellent show known as Miles's Vote for Your Brand New Contestant of Victoriness. Our contestants today is Patch of Grass number one, Patch of Grasses two through four, and Patch of no, wait, two through five, and Patch of Grass number six, with your host Rock. And so the rock over there is just sitting there, but it is also blocking Link's path, which is more likely to block the path of Link than the grass. But then again, Link will most likely kill Patch of Grasses 2 through 5. Uh, yeah. Charlie thinks that I'm actually doing it. And, yeah, no one's here. Is here. I might as well be talking to myself. Oh, we are? Oh. That means Charlie's gonna see this. I didn't know that. Crap, 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 panic, panic. Um, okay, think. What would get Charlie not to throw angry dolphins at me? Think. Okay, I just have to think. Okay, did I sing? Um, it was the wrong post it note, but yes. Um, that'll probably make him happy. Maybe. Somewhat. Okay, it's probably going to stop recording, so I'm going to have a Three Musketeers. Um, wait, so end the stream. First, I must say something excellent to make sure that everyone who watches this will be happy that they watch this. Ahem. Well, then, I'm going to tell you the story of a, um, DSI. This DSI is actually handed me up. I got it from my kid brother. He gave it to me because my dog ate it. And the battery barely works anymore. That is it. Goodbye. Yes. Okay, I'm happy now. Do you, do you have a flower?